Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Hamlin. I go by Sky Burial on Nugget Bridge and Twitter. And welcome back to Spire to the Sky, which is my VGC laddering series. And we play that on Battlespot. Uh, we got matched up against Paco. He's in the mid 1500s and he is using a muck team, which uh, tends to be actually surprisingly intimidating to my team. Um, yeah, I, uh, I got thoroughly smacked by a muck team a couple days ago. So I'm actually going to lead against it. Um, I'm not too worried about his Gyarados because I have a Melodic for that. And um, Melodic's actually good against a great number of things on his team. And uh, all he would really have to knock off on my Melodic is an Adrenaline Orb. He also doesn't want to go up against Arcanine. But Lycanroc is more beneficial. Um, hmm, I guess I could bring Double Dog. Um, but I really want to bring Kartana for his Tapu Lele. And for his uh, Trick Room Setters. So I think I'm actually going to go Kartana instead of Arcanine. I might regret this, but I really like the number of things that Kartana is good against. So... We're gonna go for it. And to top that, it, I mean, it does good damage to the Gyarados as well. So I'm really hoping that I don't see a Gyarados lead, but at the same time, I can probably take that out with a Rocky MZ Rock Slide. So um, yeah, we're gonna give that a shot. Um, let's see what my opponent leads all right so Tapu Lele and Mimikyu coming out from my opponent is really really interesting um I think this turn what I'm gonna do I actually don't mind if my opponent sets up Trick Room because I've got some slow stuff in the back so I'm gonna go ahead and go for a heavy slam onto the Tapu Lele on the off chance that he doesn't protect and I'm going to Rock Slide and that sounds awesome. If his Gyarados switches in, then it's going to take a good bit of damage. Um, yeah, so... Alright, so Tapu Lele does protect, and that's fine. Um, we're probably just going to switch out into our Melodic on the next turn. Um, and... I want to see a Trick Room from the Mimikyu here, but if it flinches, that would be fine too. And if it will wisps my Gigalith, then we're going to be in a bit of a spot. All right, but it does flinch, so we're looking okay. We're actually looking really good. So I think this turn, what I'm gonna do is go for a, um, I think it's Continental Crush. I'm gonna go for a Rocky MZ on, uh, on the Mimikyu here. And we're going to go for a, uh... yeah, he didn't have anything in the back that wants to switch into this. So we're going to go for that, and um, we're going to pursue this heavy slam on the top of Lele. Yeah. All right, and he stays in with both, so it looks like we're going to get a huge bit of damage off because both of these uh, both of these Pokemon have special defense that's boosted by sand right now. So. I don't think either of them would die to anything that Lele has to has to come up with. So we get to pursue our opponent outside of Trick Room, which is pretty great because we're we're gonna have our Kartana. Um, oh, it looks like they might they might actually get Trick Room off. That's interesting. Oh, nope, just a Will O Wisp. Okay, so we can go for a Rock Slide next turn and pretty safely take care of business. Um, so, yeah. Oh, wow, that still did a lot. But it was a crit. Okay. Um, so that was a little fortunate. I am i don't feel like I got an unfair advantage, though. It was actually fine to see the Gigalith go down. Um, I'm mostly just going to be preserving it for, like, sand damage, I guess. Um, and it still does good stuff with Stone Edge and Explosion, even after it's burned. So... That's fine. Um, I'm going to take this moment to switch in my Melodic in case that he's got his Gyarados in the back, but really it wants to fight anything that he would have in the back. And I'm going to go for a Rock Slide. Um, I'm okay with this missing one of these as long as it hits the other. Um, 
Yeah, let's see what happens. Well, he obviously didn't switch because... All right, and it looks like we do connect with both, so we're gonna get a double knockout here. That's excellent. Um, so... Yeah, I'm actually in a great position right now. Like, I'm in a really, really good position. Um, because, like... My Lycanroc is going to be the biggest threat, and I have a way to preserve sand, so I'm really hoping to see a Gyarados come in, and it does. That's awesome, so I'm going to... Here's, here's what's great about this situation, is I have an Adrenaline Orb Melodic. So... Remember everything I just said about like Lycanroc being the biggest threat on the battlefield? It's actually Melodic and that is great for my Lycanroc because that means it gets like freedom to just do whatever it wants because my opponent's going to be trying to focus down my Melodic. So um, I'm going to take a moment to switch in my Gigalith um, and just shake off this and okay cool. Um, yeah. I've <laughs> done the same thing, Paco. Good game, man. Um, yeah, that kind of that kind of went almost perfectly. I would have preferred not to have my Gigalith burn, but uh, it happens. I mean, I if I was running a Mimikyu, I would probably run something like Trick Room and Play Rough and maybe like Shadow Sneak and Will-O-Wisp. So, yeah, not a bad Pokemon at all. Um... And uh, we're just gonna hop right into the next battle. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited to try a whole bunch of stuff in this format. Um, there, there's I just I get to go wild for a whole year. It's gonna be great. Um, so I this has been like kind of like the flavor of the week, and I love trying out as many teams as I can right now. But I'm on a bit of a sand kick, um, and we get matched up against Coma with a rating of 1486. Uh, it looks like Coma has a Hail and Electric Terrain team, so uh, I definitely want to... Man, I've just been bringing my sand lately, but it's so great in this situation, and I'm going to bring Melodic in the back, and probably... Um... Let's see, what else do I want to bring? Well, we know that we know that Firefang's probably not going to take out the Sand Slash, um, so Arcanine could actually be beneficial. Um... And Kartana looks really good, too. Um, yeah. I think I'm just going to go with Kartana this time. Um, because it's really good against a good chunk of the team. So, yeah. We'll, we'll lock that in. Um, yeah, good luck to Koma. Um... It looks like a pretty standard Good Stuffs team. Um, so, yeah, I don't mind at all. Uh, Raichu's been picking up popularity. It's really, really doing hot in London Internationals right now. Good luck to everyone in the, from the U.S. who's in that and uh, to all the great VGC players outside of the U.S. as well. Um, our opponent leads with their terrain. So, um, I'm not too, too worried about this because it's most likely that both of these are special attackers. Um... So, I am going to... He can only fake out one of my things, right? So, I'm going to bank on it being the Lycanroc because it's fast. So, we'll go for an Earthquake and a Protect. Um, yeah, he can't really do too, too much to my Gigalith right now just because of the Assault Vest and the Sand. Um, unless he's like a Volt Tackle Raichu and like a Wild Charge Tapu Koko, and then he might be able to take it. I'm not sure though. Um, but I feel a lot better about this Earthquake than I think I would about being in my opponent's position. So, um, yeah. Uh, hopefully we get started soon here. Um... Let me know what you guys think about, like, what needs work on the channel. Do I need, like, better graphics? Should I, like, should I work on my commentary and try to say more things? Um, just, yeah. I'd be curious to know. Um, and it, I'm guessing Gyarados is going to come in here. 
Uh, yeah, so Gyarados is coming in here. Um, and that's fine. I can still do actually a great deal of damage to the Gyarados. Alright, he goes for a Grass Knot on my Gigalith. I should be fine. Um, I'm, yeah, so I get to do a bit of damage to Tapu Koko. Um, probably a good bit, yeah. Good deal of damage to that Tapu Koko. Um, and I think on this next turn, I'm probably going to... I think I'll switch in my Kartana and go for a Rocky MZ onto the Gyarados. Um, Cause yeah, if I could get rid of that Gyarados, or at least like heavily deter it. Nah, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for a Stone Edge onto the Gyarados and in the event that Rock Slide doesn't take out Tapu Koko, um, I'll still be fine. All right, we get a double miss. I guess that happens sometimes. <laughs> All right, um, our Gigalith is gonna go down. Uh, so that's a big bummer. But uh, hey, like I said, you know, it happens. Um, yeah, so this, <laughs> I'm kind of salty about that. You'll have to forgive me. Um, yeah, like, I have this rule among my friends where it's like, it's either going to double miss or it's going to double flinch, so, you know, prepare for it either being like, oh my gosh, so great, perfect, like, best rock slide ever, too. It's just gonna completely flop. Um, I really want this Tapu Koko gone, so I'm gonna go for a Continental Crush onto it. Um... Yeah, and we're, we're gonna go for a Leaf Blade onto the Gyarados. I want him to want to intimidate me, is what it comes down to. Um, yeah, I really want to get my Melodic in, but I'm not getting many opportunities to. It's still okay without the boosts, to be honest, but... Um, yeah, it looks like my opponent's gonna stay in, which is great. Because uh, that means that as long as Lycanroc lives, then we get Melodic in for free. Um, but we're gonna get a great Leaf Blade off against this Gyarados and have a full health Kartana. So I'd say that this is a comeback round for us, regardless of whether our Lycanroc gets taken out. If he goes for a Dragon Dance, then we're still faster. And, yeah. Okay. Cool. That did a good bit of damage. Uh, yeah, so he does go for a Waterfall, presumably onto my Lycanroc. Onto my Kartana. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. Honestly, uh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, wow. That was actually, that was great for me. Um, yeah, no, no comment. Uh, thank you, opponent. Um, yeah, um, I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Oh, okay. Looks like Raichu's coming in. Um, cool, so it's that really cool Volt Switch set. Um, I think I'm going to go for a hard switch into Melodic, and I'm going to Leaf Blade this. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're doing. This could be really, really painful, and this is something that Gastrodon can do that Melodic can't, so bit of a bummer. I'm hoping that he targets my uh, Kartana, but we shall see. Alright, so he does target my Melodic, and he doesn't quite take it down, so that's good. Um, but, 
probably means that we're gonna see a Marowak coming in here. Um, yeah, and it's not gonna mind taking this Leaf Blade. So, um, yeah, so, oh wait, he goes for a Cartona again. Um, I, I don't know what this guy's doing. Um, I love it, but I don't know what he's doing. Um, yeah, he's a madman. Uh, I'll go ahead and go for a Leaf Blade onto the Gyarados, and I'll go for a Scald onto the Marowak. I'm still faster than this thing when Sand is down, so... Yeah, I don't know what this is all about. And this Scald is definitely gonna get the KO. And I have a Beast Boost now. And I... <laughs> I have priority in the back. Yeah, I'm looking great. Honestly, I'm looking really, really good. So, our Sandstorm's gonna go down, and the Electric Terrain's also gonna go down. So... Sick. Very sick. Um... Yeah. So he can only attack one of my things. So I'll go for a Leaf Blade and a Scald. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. And he Thunderbolts our Kartana, which is okay, actually. Um, Cause that's gonna mean he has Volt Switch and Thunderbolt and probably not a third. He probably doesn't have Discharge if he has Thunderbolt and Volt Switch. Um, if he does, then he wins here. No, he doesn't, because I can Excel Rock him. He's definitely in range. So we're going to go for an Adamant Excel Rock on this Raichu for the win, which is great. All right. And we're just going to make sure that targets. I don't know about this new interface yet. Um, yeah, we'll go for this Scald. Um, awesome. So, Excel Rock is probably more like one of my favorite new moves, <laughs> to be honest. It's so great. It's something I've always wanted as a priority rock type move. Rock is one of my favorite types. Um, it's, it's so great to use. It's so strong. Like, Rock Slide is one of the best moves in the game. Um, if not the best move in the game in an underpowered meta, meta like this. Absolutely love it. Um, so we're going to call that an episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, leave a comment whether you're new or returning. And uh, if you guys could share these videos, that would mean a lot to me as well. 